Hi boys and girls. Uh, today we're going to be doing a science lesson on germs. Um, I sent, I know we've seen Sid the Science Kit before in the classroom, so we've seen the big sneeze and where he's talking about germs, so we're going to use this time to kind of just, I'm going to read you a Sid the Science Kid book, and I want you to really pay attention because afterwards you're going to tell me what did you learn from Sid the Science Kid. All right, boys and girls, so it's Sid the Science Kid, The Trouble with Germs. And just bear with me because the camera might be a little shaky. Sid, said Dad, breakfast is at chew. Bless you, Dad, said Sid. Blue woo, said Zeke. My dad is sick, said Sid. He and my mom say that I have to wash my hands if I don't want to catch Dad's cold. I want to know, said Sid. Why do I have to keep washing my hands? Sid was super hungry. Wash your hands first, said Mom. Why, said Sid. You don't want to catch my germs, said Dad. I don't see any germs, said Sid. You're right, said Mom. Germs are too small for us to see with our eyes. Look, said Mom. These germs look bigger. They are under a very, very strong microscope. Cool, said Sid. That one looks like a robot. At school, Sid met up with his friends. Do you know what germs are? said Sid. Itty bitty things that make you sick, said May. Germs get on stuff and give you a cold and stuff, said Gerald. Germs can make you sneeze, said Gabriella. You guys know a lot about germs, said Sid. Rug time, said Teacher Susie. Sid and his friends sat on the rug. Let's talk about germs, said Teacher Susie. We can't see germs, said Teacher Susie, but we can still pass them around. Pretend that Gerald is sick, said Teacher Susie. He sneezes on his hands and gets germs on them. Then Gerald passes germs to Sid and Sid passes them to May said teacher Susie. It's like a big chain of germs, said Sid. Always sneeze into a tissue, said teacher Susie. This helps stop germs from spreading around. Or you can sneeze into your arm, like this. Teacher Susie pretended to sneeze. At chew, she covered her mouth with her sleeve. Let's go to the super fab lab, said Teacher Susie. Time to learn why washing your hands is so important. Pretend the dirt is germs, said Teacher Susie. Dip your hands in it. Cool, said Sid. I love dirt. Now, try wiping your hands off, said Teacher Susie. They're still dirty, said May. We need soap and water, said Gabriella. Right, said Teacher Susie. It's the same with germs. You need to wash up to get them off. When Sid got home, he was super hungry. Sid, said Mom, it's snack time. At chew. Thanks, said Sid but I think I'll wash my hands first. Hey boys and girls, so I hope you enjoyed um, Sid the Science Kid, The Trouble with Germs. And in this book, we see that it starts off with Sid's dad and he has a cold and his parents are explaining to him the importance of washing his hands because they don't want him to get the germs. 
And so we see in this book that um, germs can spread quite easily and just like Sid mentioned, they can go on like a chain. You can get one person sick who gets the next person sick. And so it's really important that we take on some of these safety measures like washing our hands, causing cough, uh, sorry boys and girls, sneezing into a tissue or sneezing into your elbow sometimes so we keep those germs from spreading. Um, but later this week, we're going to get to do a really cool uh, science experiment and hopefully you guys get to do it with me. It doesn't need a lot of uh, materials, but um, we're going to actually see just how powerful soap can be against germs. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it again. I will see you later this week, boys and girls. Bye.